was really nice to be back in our sort of uh, home, you know, uh, back to the old, got the old family, as it were, that made Shaun of the Dead and Hot Fuzz. We, we're, we're good friends, and so to be together to work is a dream come true, you know, I get to hang out with my mates. It's exactly the same, really. I mean, the nuts and bolts of making a film is kind of the same on everything, but I think, I think that's the point of us being good mates is that we, we hang out a lot when we're not shooting, so, you know, it's just another part of that, really. It was great because we'd gone off and done separate projects, and so we hadn't actually done a film together for six years. And because the film the film is about friends reuniting, it felt really great doing a movie where we were reuniting to make it. So it was great. Oh yeah, it was like kind of you know joining, um, you know, going out with your big brother's friends and feeling not quite old enough or cool enough or you know you didn't know as many kind of in musical jokes as they did or you know know as many kind of band managers or song titles or all the rest of it. But um, it was like one endless pub quiz in which I was the loser. I think. It means something to us to produce something that's of quality, you know, so hopefully we've done that and that's been borne out in people's responses to them. You know, I think if you try and make everyone happy, you kind of, as I said, you kind of dilute what it was that people liked in the first place. So we've always just kind of made the films that we want to make and, and hopefully, you know, there are a bunch of people out there who, who like us, want to see those films. Uh, aside from all the zombies and action and like sci-fi elements, I think it's because there's characters that people can relate to. I think that people sort of see themselves on screen or think, I know somebody like that or I am that guy. And I think this one is no different. I think there's, at heart, they're like relationship comedies, even though they have lots of kind of carnage and craziness in them. I think people relate to the characters. We're really good friends now. And then Simon Pegg went on, when I went on to do another film together. And, you know, I think if you can, if you can keep working with the same people as this lot have, it's, it sort of makes the working life richer and you, you just sort of delve deeper and it, it only improves on the creativity. My favourite pint, I'm mm, probably a Cronenberg. I don't actually drink, so I would have to say it's probably a pint of sparkling water. How boring am I? My favourite pint? Um, my favourite pint is Stella Artois. Me too. Oh, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, I'm a Stella guy. It's slightly different in the UK, I think. It's slightly more fizzy uh, and slightly stronger. I've sort of gone away from, I've become more of a red wine man of late, but of American beers, I'm going to say Pabst Blue Ribbon just because I like the way that Dennis Hopper says it in Blue Velvet. I want to say Guinness, but does everybody say that? Is that boring? British. Yeah, I'll say Guinness, yeah. I actually love Heineken. Heineken, and uh, I always put a little bit of a, a splash of uh, grenadine inside to make it a little lighter because I'm not really a big drinker and two beers and I'm done. They used to call me a cheap date when I was in the army because uh, you know two beers and I'm done and you know I cost nothing to anybody. Zombies or alien? Where will you want to fight them? Oh, I know, we, I know his answer. Watch. Zombies. Yeah I knew it. Why? Yeah, they're slower. I if told you. you. <laughs> if, if you're... I'd have to say zombies simply because aliens fascinate me. Zombies, not so fascinating, more just scary. Blood-sucking, eating flesh, scary. Beer, oh, oh, that's a rough one. There's a couple of New Zealand beers I really like. I also really love a Hefeweizen, but I'm also partial to Takati in a can, I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't know, I think we might build furniture. It might not be film, you know, we might do something like make a boat or uh, invade a country. I don't know, we haven't decided. <laughs> Well, our characters seem to be growing as we grow as people, so maybe 50-year-old divorcees trying to, trying to get with hookers in, uh, in Vegas. Ideally, hope that we'll reconvene in a couple of years and do another movie, but it might be something radically different next time. So, you know, um, the, the three films we've done so far, we want them to represent a chapter, and uh, maybe we'll do something, something, I don't know, magical next time. <laughs>